Welcome to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program Employment and Training Employment Planning Session. We call it SNAP ENT for short. Today we want to take some time to review some of the basic rules of the SNAP ENT program with you. You're here today because Health and Human Services has determined that you're eligible for the SNAP ENT program and you chose to accept SNAP benefits. These benefits come with strict requirements. SNAP ENT is a work first program. Your goal is to find full time employment as quickly as possible. We are here to assist you in reaching that goal. We have many tools at the Workforce Center to help you find employment. Our resource area is available to all job seekers, even those who may already have a job. Our resources include computers with internet access to conduct job search, job counseling to help you find postings which match your skills best, resume software so you can easily build your resume, a scrolling job board with all the jobs available in the area, and access to a fax machine, copy machine, and telephones. We can help you find out about the labor market information in your area. Labor market information is data that statistically describes the economic conditions in a certain area. That area can be as small as a zip code area or as large as the whole country. Want to know how your wages compare with wages for the same job in another part of the state? Looking for the fastest growing occupations in your county? Wondering where to go for training in an occupation in which you want to work? Labor market information can find answers to these questions and more. Just sign in to workintexas.com and select Career Tools. Then select Texas Labor Market Information. You can also do job search from the Workforce Solutions Northeast Texas app. Here's what the app looks like. You can click on the job search button and it takes you straight to workintexas.com. Everyone can use this tool. The first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is download the Texas Health and Human Services app. Here is what the app looks like. You can see your benefits if you have been approved. You can report changes to your case. And you can find the nearest office to your location. It's a great tool to have. As mandatory work registrants in the SNAP ENT program, you must meet the following participation requirements. You must complete 30 hours of job search each week. That means you need to complete 15 applications or interviews each week. How long? You will job search for four weeks, making 15 contacts each week for a grand total of 120 hours. Failure to meet your weekly requirements without good cause will result in a penalty against your benefits. Adults under the age of 50 who do not have any dependents at home will be enrolled into work fair after completing four weeks of job search if they have not found employment. If you are working at least 20 hours per week, you will be excused from Workfair. Workfair is volunteer work at predetermined nonprofit organizations. Workfair will continue each month you receive benefits until you have obtained substantial employment. Failure to complete your required job search or Workfair assignment will result in the loss of your SNAP benefits. This can happen by not making all of your job search contacts, failing to show up for your appointment, or failing to bring in your check stubs if you are working part-time. The length of time you lose your benefits will depend upon how many times you have received a penalty for failure to meet your requirements previously. First penalty, you will lose one month of benefits. Second penalty, you will lose three months of benefits. Third penalty, you will lose six months of benefits. As you can see, following the rules of the program is very important. What if you have a good reason for not attending a meeting or getting all of your job searches completed? Once the penalty has been imposed on your case, Health and Human Services will notify you by mail. You have 13 days from the date of the letter to notify our office if you have good cause reason why you did not comply with your participation requirement. After the 13th day, you must file an appeal with Health and Human Services. We have no way of reversing a penalty after the 13th day. You have a right to appeal any penalties that have been initiated for failure to participate. You must contact Health and Human Services. The appeals must be submitted in writing within 30 days of the date of the decision.
classes. If you enter full or part-time employment during or immediately after participation in regular SNAP ENT services, you may receive job retention services and support services for up to 90 days upon request. To be eligible for job retention services, you must have received SNAP benefits the month of or the month prior to requesting job retention services and actively participated in the program. The purpose of these services is to help you stay employed for the first 90 days. Congratulations, you have now completed part one of the SNAP orientation. Please write down the confirmation code because you will need this code when you contact your career planner to finish the orientation. Now on to part two. You must contact your local office to complete the paperwork necessary for the SNAP program. You may do so by email or phone. The contact information is listed on screen by your local workforce office. Please provide your name and confirmation number in the email or phone call in order to prove you completed part one of the process.